rolling. Hey guys, um, we are going to discuss some of the client uh, high plains cleaning conduct around homes, period, whether the client is home or not. Okay, so um, a good rule of thumb is to believe that there are cameras in every part of your home because that you're working in because more times than not there actually are and I have had reports uh, not only for myself while I was learning to clean but also for my employees that they not only watch but they listen okay so you're not just um, portraying who you are and your core values but you're portraying our core values and the values of that particular person even though you may not actually know what those values are so yes I'm using an orange rag orange oil yes that is in a kitchen but we're just pretending okay all right so if you're in here and you're cleaning and the client is right there you don't need to be loud and obnoxious yes you can have your earpiece in you can be listening to podcasts and um even taking phone calls during but i prefer do not take phone calls while they are in the room okay just something about that is just rude okay in case they want to talk to you disconnect start a conversation so these people that are your client don't look at you like the hired help, you know? You're a person. You're someone to be valued. I value you. They should value you too. And one of the ways to do that is to start up a conversation with whoever it is, the client that is in the home. So, hey, how was lunch? You know? It was pretty okay. It was okay? What'd you have? Avocado. <laughs> You have what? Avocados. Avocado? How cool. All right, just random conversation. It doesn't, it could be about the weather, it could be whatever it is. <laughs> just have a conversation with them. That long goes with the receipt where it has that, um, the lines. Not a little something. Oh, I noticed you changed your decorations. Um, kind of felt like things were really, um, you must have been super uh, busy this week. Hope things slow down for you. Um, if you're around a holiday, say, you know, Merry Christmas, um, Happy Fourth of July, those kind of things, write that on there. Keep it so that they have a personal relationship with not just you, but the company through those kinds of things. Do not be loud and obnoxious. Um, pause a second. Okay, I'm also going to remind you that your attitude towards the client's home, the state of it, they can read that. Not only do you not want to state about, oh man, they must have been super busy this time. Look at all the stuff that's out here. It's all over the place. Don't say that, okay? I don't care if you're thinking it, because we all are, because we know how clean their home could be, all right? We've been in the homes where you think, oh man, why am I even here? And there's the other homes that are really needing it, okay? Don't comment about it, all right? Not even to the other person. Only in caring and only in the fact that if you need help, hey, this, this room is much dirtier than normal. Um, I'm a little bit behind. Could you help me with when you're talking to your other, uh, the other team member, okay? You don't even have to mention that it's dirtier um, than normal. Just can you help me out? Yeah. It's a Just, core value. Can you help me out? That's core value. Okay. Um, and while I'm on that same subject, realize that both um, trainees, sorry, trainees are still learning the ropes, but trainers and, and team leads, they hold the same amount of like workload when you walk into that home. Okay. So if you get in, you're like, hey, which, which would you like to do? You know, kitchens or, or bathrooms, okay? You have that conversation when you're walking in, say, hey, if somebody's feeling like they're kind of unstable on their feet that day, it does happen. I prefer those days you stay in the kitchen and out of the slippery bathroom. You're welcome to have those conversations with your teammates. 
Um, it's not something where a team lead comes in and says, hey, I want you in here or I want you in there. And, and yes, sometimes maybe um, if the person is specifically in there um, to train, so if you have like three people, of course one of them is supposed to be training uh, that trainee or you are have somebody in there specifically to train to um, to uh, test out the trainee okay those things are are important to say yeah you, you're there for those specific things um, the other thing I'd like to address is that between the trainee the trainer and the team lead if you guys want to take your 15 minute break in those four hours, go for it. We are uh, legally supposed to allow, the, we allow 15 minute breaks every four hours. We allow a 30 minute lunch break, but if you and your team decide to push through so that you get home earlier, that's on you. It's not something that we encourage. Okay? I think that's all I'm gonna address today, thanks. Oh, um, so I guess I'm just going to circle back. Our core values are have fun. That doesn't mean boisterous and rude. Make money. You're here to make money. And if the client feels you're being rude, they're going to cut us off. Help out. Like I said, when you walk in, you're helping each other out. There's no hierarchy once you walk into that, that, um, that home, okay? Help each other out just because that's who you are and who, the, who, you, who you want to portray. And be real. If you feel like something has been said that is rude in that home, kind of pull that person aside and say, hey, this is, might not be something we want to continue. Okay? Be real with each other. All right? If you're uncomfortable, say it. If you're having fun, say it. Okay? Because it's not just us that are having fun. The client has to have fun too. The other team member has to have fun too. And I want you to enjoy what it is that you do.